Hey guys, welcome back to Emma Rose Hair. Today we are going to talk about direct dyes. Let me write this down. Direct dyes. Yay, I love it. So, what is a direct dye? It's any sort of color that might be one of these. This is my Pravana swatches, but a lot of different hair color lines like Manic Panic, um, I believe Arctic Fox, those are off the professional lines. Those are more, um, you can grab those at any um, sort of retail. I think Hot Topic at first started Manic Panic, I want to say. Um, I'm not really sure about the history, so don't take that to heart. But Anywho, it's any sort of hair color that you don't need a developer for. So not all direct dyes are going to be crazy fun. A lot of them are also more of a natural color, like a brown or a black or even a light blonde tone. So what's the difference between a direct dye and a regular permanent hair color? So once again, we're going to go back to our hair follicle which has a ton of hair color in it, right? So when you go in with a developer, we need two parts, developer, and then this can be called different things but from different lines. Um, they will say things like 10, 20, five volume, so on and so forth. I'm not gonna go over that today, that will be another video, but um, you need a developer and then you need your color. And we're just going over colors today. I almost am saying that because I need to hold myself back because there's so much knowledge that I want to give you. So we need a developer and then we need our color for a regular color. The developer is what is going to spin open those little branches that we talked about yesterday. Almost like a Christmas tree so that we can put, we're just doing a little recap, our molecules in underneath those tree branches right and then they'll as we finish up we neutralize um that will kind of shut back down and it'll be all colored so we're putting that in there the prob or not the problem <laughs> but uh the difference between a direct color which once again can sometimes look like this but we have natural versions of this as well and uh, something that looks like this even though we do have fun bold colors that aren't called or considered direct dyes, um, the difference is the developer. These bad boys actually go right, let's see, right over top of the branches, okay? So that means that if your hair has been lifted, lifted, lifted like my hair has, and um, the branches are spread out, the direct dye can slip right off that hair follicle and, um, and be pushed off easily. So um, that's the main difference. That's why we definitely need a proper shampoo and conditioner because once again, like we were talking about yesterday, when you put water onto your hair, it opens up those branches and your hair color can come off. Um, so using a great shampoo and conditioner can kind of help to lock and seal that back in. Um, it's also why, it, especially with hair color lines like Illumin, I'm sure you've heard that name before, it's a fantastic dye. It does not want to come off of the hair follicle, but it's super hard to get off um, because when we go in with bleach, we are, we're trying to get out this color, okay? So like my hair, but if I put like, say, what is this? Locked in yellow, okay? So if we put yellow on top of my hair with a lumen, it is actually going to sit out here. So if I'm bleaching this, it's just going to push these, which will inherently take this color off, but my hair is going to not be happy. So we have specific, hey Jen, um, we have specific ways of getting the hair color off of the hair. Things like um, color removers, which are fantastic for what they're for. Um, that's why my hair underneath blue, which you do need your hair to be almost white, was super easy to get this because I just used a color remover, 
did a light bleach wash, toned it, and voila. Because underneath blue, if you have a gold base, it makes green. So all I had to do was make sure that that green was gone with a color remover designed by the same brand that I was using. And, um, and then get rid of that extra color. So super easy. Um, direct dyes are awesome. They're actually ammonia free. So they're a lot, in my opinion, safer than a lot of different hair colors, which you would think would be the opposite because they are things like orange and red and green and yellow and purple and blue. So um, it's kind of backwards in a lot of people's mindsets. Hopefully that explains a few things to you. Once again, feel free, message me. Even if you're doing your hair color at home, I have I have a certain amount of knowledge. It's not everything. I can't, I learn every single day from everyone. Um, and I'm learning and learning and learning and I'm pushing and pushing and pushing. So I can't give you all of the knowledge, but I can only give you what I have. So if you have a question, feel free to message me and we'll get you going on whatever hair color you feel like is best for you. But if you really, 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 really want a fun, funky hair color and um, you don't want to commit to it, perfectly fine. Let's just get you blonde and we'll go from there. If you already have gray hair, that's why. Um, your hair will take to that color a little bit easier than your dark hair color because we are going over a leveling system. Meaning, if I put your natural, even though this is fun, if I put this over this, you're not really gonna see it very well. Does that make sense? Okay, so once again, if you have any questions, I'll be continuing to post videos. There's so much knowledge that I want to give you and just pour out. Um, that's just what I live for. I love education, um, but we'll be continuing to do these. So hopefully you'll learn a little bit along the way. Anywho, ciao. I, as always, I love you guys and hopefully you learned a little bit. Bye.